Bare Bones Network. Nor Norman Woodstock Spalding. Radio broadcaster sticking neck out. Going on YouTube. Citizen of the United States of America speaking to humanity. For as long as it shall stay in a cosmos of stars and planets. This is like a message put on a tape that you will sit in a <clears throat> chamber thousands of generations from now and overhear this conversation and get an idea of what's going on right now in the year 2012. Of course, you won't keep, they won't understand what the term year means then. Thank God. It's a dumb idea. I got caught using year and, and the, the thousands of these, I mean, uncountable number of stars and planets spinning around, round and round, and they're counting trips. Not very smart. And thinking it means something on top of that. <laughs> yeah, and distance of all things. Member of Planet Earth, EAR, Prince ETH, Norman Sex Paul, United States citizen. Come to you as King of the Jews for valid, uh, uh, validity of passion and genuine, a uh, genuine. And, 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 and in fact, been on the mind long before I got here. I remember not getting here. I remember not asking to come. I, I was called out of a bliss of pool, a pool of bliss. I remember that. And now I'm here. Last thing I remember, I was in a, 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 a pool. It was a pleasant place. I remember that. I think it was the Lord's mind. Very pleasant place. It was bliss. I remember that. Extreme bliss. And I was called. And I remember swimming in this pool. Something like a beautiful sauna. And, um, that's the last thing I can remember. And now I'm here. Now, the echo of information has reminded me of what I am about. And thank God for the United States of America has helped me understand what I am and what experience I'm involved with. So because of that, I treasure this place, of course, and would like to um, share some of that because I do not overhear the echo, same echo information um, that I am coherent of getting remarked to around me. So that means that I shall speak. I have to. Magna Carta says speak anyway. Only I was raised that <clears throat> when the group is plotting something really stupid, uh, being my friends when I was a child, and I understood better that I was to say something, and of course, if they didn't pay any attention to me, we're going to go anywhere. I didn't go with them. I'd go on home. I'd come back home, and I had plenty of chores to do at home. And um, playtime was over, and I had to come home and do chores then, and not go be a part of such a stupid idea. So that's basically what I'm doing now, um, as much as I'm able to, even though I have to comply with certain regulations and rules to show my contribution to the place and appreciation, and I'm course, more than willing to do that. Uh, I kind of failed that in so many ways, as far as I'm concerned. I'm the prodigal, and on the way home to the old man's farm, it takes quite a while. Well, I'll do the best I can, dig my bones out of the closet, and face them. And what else are you going to do? And pass away, um, staying as pleasant with everybody and everyone as you can. And living is done for you. And that's life lived. For this old codger, anyway. <clears throat> I hope you have a Possibly a more successful time. Um, although I wouldn't prosper at a time like this because the fiscal situation of this planet is in a state of collapse. And if you're a part of the prosperity of that, that means you're one of the um, a-holes contributing to the uh, dilemma of not doing what has to happen. And it's time we do what has to at least have a discussion of what has to happen, and that's generosity. So if you're prospering in a state of collapse, that's not very generous of you, is it? I don't think so. Especially if you're dreaming of great prosperity now and buying lottery tickets. Isn't that a tax of the stupid to buy a lottery ticket? Now, look what the lottery is. How many lotteries you got? You stand a chance at all. Is there 20 lotteries? Maybe you stand a chance. One state lottery and you're buying a ticket. That's a tax of the stupid. Huh? And you're dreaming of prosperity Buying a ticket with one state lottery. You are a buffoon. You are contributing to delinquency of a-holes. Do you understand me? And you shall not buy a lottery ticket anymore. 
at least and call it any kind of prosperity or dream of it. You're no way in the hell you're going to reach it there. You're going to prosper buying a lottery ticket. You're not going to prosper buying a lottery ticket. Flammer. The brain cell gun reminds me of that. And Rick Miller informed the brain cell gun. Oh, pardon my friends. Great talk show host once reminded me of odd gambling. What the whole subject is. Brilliant man. Talked for a couple hours. Didn't have any calls. Don't buy a lottery ticket. It's a tax to the stupid. Especially with one lottery. That is an idiotic idea. That's like going to one carnival in town and telling me you were entertained. No, you weren't. No, you were hoodwinked. Well, the circus came. How many circuses? Serious. Why do you think you called it a sucker born every minute? Well, did the circus play the town for a sucker? Did it or didn't it? Is entertainment playing the town for a sucker? Is it? Come on. Haven't you been played for a sucker by most everything? What haven't you been played by as a sucker? What? Fiscal? The market? What aspect of human, li of human living hasn't played humanity for a sucker? With this globe for about three and a half million years. And now you don't have any topsoil. Now you don't have any floodplain. You don't understand migration and meander. You have a jaded image of yourself. And on and on and on and I could go. Played by a sucker. Uh, to a, I mean, you've been played for a sucker. By every aspect calling you a name and saying they have to serve your service agency for the absence of your honesty and generosity, which you easily can experience among yourselves. The confession brings that back in a whale of a hurry. In fact, maybe too much hurry, and that's what they're horrified of. They don't want you to have a confession. And believe me, the people spreading hoo hockey in your head and keeping an incorrect picture up there, they certainly don't want a confession, and you don't hear them lead you on it. And when I say lead you, leaders have a confession. I'm a king of the Jews. I'll admit I'm an idiot. That's why I'm able to come to you. That's why the Lord sent me, because I had a confession to my maker. I didn't have the brains to understand that there's so many things of appreciation here. I don't even have the brains to the experience appreciation for things that I know are here to appreciate. That makes me mad. The Lord laughed. And set me to talk to you. How do you do? Norman Woodstock Spalding, I'll be back.